Uh, right, someone said uh, the knock O2, how can it be temperature compensated? And I pointed out when I actually strapped, strapped it down or stripped it down that I think the thermistor is in this connection housing, the part that comes from the, power, from the battery charger. Just go here. This piece, I think it's in there, right? So since this is waterproof, okay, all the other t the measurements we've done have been done at 22 degrees Celsius, 21, 22. I have a mug of water here. Huh? And I've got a temperature gauge. So we've got a summer's day in Texas, 40 degrees, okay. So what I'm going to uh, just get rid of that. Get rid of that. And I'm just going to dunk this in the water, all right. So make sure it's plugged in properly. Because do you remember we said you can see that it's got this O-ring on here. And that should, in theory, be waterproof. So I'm going to dunk it in the water, leave it there for maybe... 10 or 15 minutes and then we'll rerun some of the tests or the battery the, probably less added lead acid is very sensitive so we'll just try the standard lead, lead acid so we'll just try the standard lead acid test and see whether it um, does it so it's in the glass now look see it's in there no fizzing and banging going on so that's all right okay so let's put that there like that turn the light off like that and away we go. If I turn that on, can you see the 12 volts, actually? No, you can't still. It's quite bright, though. I think you'd be able to see that in the daylight. Not the best choice of colour for daylight. Right. And so it still thinks the battery is fully charged because the test is complete, all right? So... Only a bit a few minutes, and I'll come back to you, and we'll do the test. OK, so we've got the knock 2 We've got our... Um, what where we suspect the uh, thermos to be in the glass of water at uh, 40 degrees still is i just checked it. it's gone down to 39 actually to be honest uh, so you yeah, open the file load uh, knock a charge test open and then turn the charger off uh, run the test See what we get on. And here she goes. So we got higher temperature. So are we looking for a lower termination voltage, aren't we? Higher temperature, higher termination voltage. Which one is it? I think I know because it's specified as about 20 millivolts per degree centigrade. So that would suggest that it's a positive te temperature coefficient. So temperature rises, battery voltage rises. So we've gone up 18 degrees, um, so 18 times 20 is, is 160 millivolts. So this should terminate 160 millivolts later, all the different stages, it, than it did earlier, if we're right about the thermistor. If we're wrong, of course, it won't make <laughs> any difference at all. But you can see it chomping along. I'll let it finish, and I'll come back to you with the results. Actually, I let it run because then you can see the state, the voltage stage, charge LEDs referencing or relative to the actual battery voltage, and you can see where they kick in. So I'll let it run through this. I'm not going to say anything. We can have a look. Two bars now. All three bars now. Ooh. And it's cutting down to the final termination any minute now. There you go, it's completed.
I'm guessing that green oozing light is to be sexy and also to indicate that the charge is complete and then the other three LEDs have gone out. All is good with the world. We are charged. So let's have a look at the chart. Right, so uh, versus 22 degrees, okay? So look at here. We go to that point there. I can select it. There we go. Oh, so that kicked in at 11.4. It kicked in at 11.3 before. Uh, so it's okay. So that's point 0.1. This is less than we're expecting, but. What do I know? So, yeah, actually hit the knee at 11.4. So, not much difference there. Have a look at this one. It starts to roll off at 14.1, was 13.9, so it's gone up by 200 millivolts. And the termination is that point there. 14.5 volts termination instead of 14.2. So yeah, it has and yes, compensated it. The thermistor is in there, boys. The thermistor is in the connector, this thing, okay? So that's that complete. The thermistor is in there and the temperature compensation does appear to work. So that's good.